You should be pretty familiar with the overall structure of DNA. DNA is a double helix that sort of looks like a twisted ladder, and each of its complementing strands is made of a series of nucleotides that create sentences that code for information. And remember, structure always ties into function. DNA's first function is to act as genetic material and to code for all of an organism's traits gender, fur color, eye color, body type, even personality, and this directly relates back to the nucleotides. Using only four nucleotides, A, T, C, and G, DNA is able to order and reorder its monomers to create the entire genome. DNA's second function is to act as the hereditary material, and this relates back to its two complementing strands of DNA. And its complementing strands aptly allow DNA an easy way of replicating itself to pass on to new cells or onto future offspring. Because the strands complement, each of them act as a template for creating new strands of DNA. The two strands in a helix run in opposite directions or are anti-parallel of each other. So, um, anti-parallel. So one is oriented from the five prime end to the three prime end, whereas the other one will be oriented from the three prime end to the five prime end. So this one runs in this direction, and this one runs in this direction. And there are hydrogen bonds between um, the two strands nucleotides. So there are hydrogen bonds between each of the nucleotides in the complementing strands, whereas there are covalent bonds. Um, between each of the nucleotides within the complementing strands. So these are covalent bonds. Let me write this down. These are hydrogen bonds between the strands, and these are covalent bonds within the strands. So that means that the bonds within the strands are stronger than the interactions between the strands. And that way, during replication, the DNA can unzip into two separate strands without disturbing the integrity of each of the strands. After replication, the DNA will naturally revert back to a double helix, which is a more stable structure.